Okay, well, that was a lot of information over the course of the last two hours, and not surprisingly, we ended up using up almost all of the time, or in fact, all of the time. However, uh, we're going to stretch things a little bit here. What I'd like to do is ask our two panelists who very patiently have been uh, absorbing all of this, just if you have a few thoughts or reflections on what you've seen, the diversity of the work, things that impressed you, inspired you from your professional perspectives. Uh, so just a couple of minutes each of uh, some thoughts that you might like to share. And then um, we have some certificates that we want to hand out to everybody who made the presentations. And then in terms of question and answer, really, I don't think there's, there's any time left. There's a, an, another agenda after this. So what I can suggest otherwise is that those of you who want to stay behind and just chat amongst each other, ask each other questions about the, re the respective presentations, I invite you to do that. But unfortunately, we are out of time. So can I ask both of you, to, you each have a mic there, uh, either one of you to start. Uh, just give some re reflections from your uh, professional perspective. We have something from Google and Civil Society Magazine. A lot of content, a lot of work around digital, uh, digital content, digital tools, and so on. So just some reflections from you. No. Can we get this mic on? So uh, I know we're running late, so I want to keep this really brief. I, I really came here to really talk about tools uh, that the nonprofits like yourself can use to advance your mission. But I think what I really sit here, I'm completely humbled uh, with just amazing work all of you all are doing. So um, I really want to thank the organizers for, for inviting. I think I'm completely delighted to be here. I think um, there are a lot of Google tools that we donate. Um, we don't have a lot of monetary grants, but we do do in-kind donation of our products. And I saw a very good demonstration of many of those products. I think if there are uh, some nonprofits out there still sitting here, if you're not fully familiar, I would really encourage you to go to Google for nonprofits. We're expanding our products that we donate in kind. Um, I'm going to take maybe just one minute to summarize some of those products. There was one product that was not talked about here, so I won't talk about the four that was very, very widely used, which was Google Grants, which is our uh, advertising, Google advertising that we um, allow nonprofits to, to use almost $10,000 per month. You could use Google Search and promote your website. We have uh, Google Apps for Education, uh, Google Apps for Nonprofits. This is essentially all of the collaboration tools that you can use that saves tremendous amount of IT cost. Um, we have YouTube, I don't need to talk about that. We have Google Plus, uh, you can create virtual conference rooms where thousands of your volunteers, donors, and interact with them. Um, I think the one product that wasn't talked about was Google Maps. We actually have a lot of nonprofits using Google Maps. I'll give you one example of Clarity Water, which is a nonprofit that brings clean water to people in developing countries. So what they basically do is they map all the wells that they build, and uh, this is how the donors can actually see where the money is going. So it's a great way to show visually, uh, you know, how its funds are floating. So I think with that, I'll kind of, uh, you know, really encourage all of you guys to visit uh, this, the website. And uh, I'm happy to leave some cards behind if you have questions, and I'm happy to answer. Thank you. Uh, yes, like you, I also feel humbled by all the effort put in to communicate. And as a professional communicator myself, I've been a journalist and we've, we've run civil society for 12 years, uh, taking up a challenge uh, both in terms of money and outreach, which uh, no other independent publication in India has done. So I have some idea of how difficult it is to communicate. And I deeply respect all the efforts that have been made. But if you're here today to look at internet content, digital content and internet tools, then I have to say that it's only a few of today's presentations which really captured me. Because the opportunity in the internet is really to reach out with ideas. And the opportunity is actually to reach out in more neutral ways rather than to take on creative challenges. Because the creative challenge is very difficult to meet, whether it's, it's putting a magazine together or putting a website together. For, for social change leaders, whether, <clears throat> whether you're, you're dealing with child welfare or you're dealing with agriculture, uh, some of these stories we've covered in our magazine earlier. Digital Green has been a story we wrote on a long time back, and I think that's the way to go because you're using a pure form here. You're using, you're using technology to get through to people. Uh, similarly, I think the organ donation 
It was a great idea because uh, we've been covering organ donation and we know how challenging it is to reach people. And here you're getting an opportunity to reach people through technology. And I think that, that was a really a winning idea because you can then get to multiple people and get to their homes and get to them on a sustained basis and carry through simple messages have directories of people. So I think there again content is working. The person from Rajasthan, from Jaipur, who uh, talked of how food could be used, I thought was a brilliant idea. You know, it always worries many of us, it certainly worries me, that when you see so much food going waste in the country where people can't eat, right? And here we've got the technologies to actually map this out and tell you that, look, if you've got something which is wasted, this is the way you can give it to somebody. I think that's content and internet coming together in a brilliant form. So these are some of my observations, but let me say that I think everyone doing anything in this country and doing it with so much heart deserves a great applause. Uh, when nothing works and it is, it, is NGOs, it is NGOs, it's people's groups, it's people on the ground who are making this difference and I'm just not recognized. Civil Society magazine looks to people like this and say, what are the solutions these guys have? And let's look at these solutions and carry them forward. Today was full of solutions. Maybe some are better solutions, maybe some are not so good solutions, maybe some will work, maybe some will work brilliantly. But there are solutions and we should work on Thank you. That's actually a very nice segue into the fact that we do want to recognize uh, the work that's taken place by the organizations in this group. It's very hard to take what may have been months or years of work, summarize it in three or four minutes, and try and communicate all of the passion, the heart, uh, the thinking, the strategy that went into it. But at least as a small token of, uh, of, of everybody's effort, we're going to recognize all of the presenters today with a certificate of recognition. A few of you are going to actually receive a prize or, a, or an award shortly after this session. We're going to call you up in threes, and the three of us are each going to hand the certificates out. So please come up. Okay, so we first have managers without orders. Action of human movement. The large charitable trust. SOS Children's Villages. The Anukshetra Foundation Trust. Foundation for Initiatives in Development and Education for All. The Samadari Foundation is not there. That's fine. The European Civil Fund is there. Okay. Next, what is there? The Arupa Mission Research Foundation. The uh, Manbu Mananda Ashram Nityananda Trust.
Dalit son. Kahani project. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now, as a session manager, I have a couple of small requirements and requests. One is could all the people who just received what I did. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> okay. We just received the certificate to stay back. We just have one quick group photo of everyone. Also, as again, this is my uh, privilege and prerogative as a session manager, is that now I get to give things to our panelists. So, we've got uh, a bunch of small things, which I will give to them. Okay, so we just get a quick uh, group photo and then we close this. Now we've got the award, awards gala happening at least time. <laughs> 